What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. It's me, Cav the Gamer, the Travage Gaming Channel. Now, today's video, I haven't been uploading a lot of retro arts for a while, but today's video is like a little special one for you. So, quickly, in this today's video, we're going to be taking the classic Def Jam Vendetta from the PS2. We're going to make our own ISO image from the physical game disc, put it onto a USB, then we're going to play it on the Xbox using the RetroArch and the Ethere and the PCSX2, all the different PS2 emulators. But here's the difference. We're going to be playing it, the Xbox Remote Play, on an iPad Pro. And we're going to see exactly how easy it is and how smooth the gameplay is when you're trying to play Xbox Remote Play but a PS2 emulation game. Now, can you play Remote Play on a PS2 emulated game on an iPad Pro using the Xbox Series X? Well, we're about to find out in today's video, so I'll stick around and let's go straight into it. It's got a lot of image burn, and we're going to create an image file from a disk. That's what we're going to do. So, it's going to read the file in there. You can see it's read the Def Jam file, and all I'm going to do is hit this button here. And we're going to create our own ISO image file. I'm just going to change where it's going to though. Just give me a moment. I'm going to change that into this folder here. And I'm going to make it a new folder. And we're going to call this PS2 Games. Just so it's easier for me to locate things. So put that in there. DJV for Def Jam and Dead Save. And hit go. That's all you have to do, now give this a few moments and it will literally make an ISO image file from it. Alright guys, now that it's completed making my physical PS2 game into an ISO, you see the operation successfully completed. What we're going to do is we're going to go locate the file now and see exactly what it's gone and done. So I've saved it in the D drive and I've put it under PS2 games. So as you can see here, it's a disk image file. Now what we're going to do is, we're just going to rename this def jam e and D e data just like that and all we're going to do now is we're literally going to copy the file from here and we're going to put it onto our usb that's going to go into the xbox series x so guys the only apps that you're going to need to get this all to work is just the xbox app which is free to download from the app store so download it onto your ipad pro your phone whatever it is you want to do this on and you can connect to your xbox remotely that's all you need no other apps just the Xbox All right, app. guys, here you can see we've downloaded the Xbox app to the iPad and you can see it's all working fine. So once that's all done, I'm signed in and everything. You can see I can just filter through all my Xbox stuff. So that's all you need is just the Xbox apps for your iPad. Okay, now that we've got the iPad all downloaded, what we're going to do is we need to now set up the iPad to remote play the Xbox. So I'm going to try and show you as much as I can on the screen. So in the top right hand corner of the screen here, I'm just going to press this button here and it's going to say to set up the console. So what we're going to do is hit that and we're going to add an existing console. Okay, turn on remote features and it's going to ask us to turn on the console and sign in with my account. Alright guys, once you set up your remote play on your Xbox Series X, what you want to do is head on over to the left hand side here, the iPad app, press that which is your library, you're going to see a load of different menus, so you've got captures, your games, what we want to do is we want to hit the consoles button, so press the consoles button right here, okay, and you can see my console has appeared, so we're just going to press that button, and this is going to ask us if we want to remote play or open remote control. So we want to basically remote play on this device. So I press that button there, give it a few moments, and it's remote playing on the iPad now. Okay, it's going to ask me do I want to connect to my local network? I'll put yes. So just allow everything access to the network. Okay, so now it's going to ask us to add a controller. So roll it into a Bluetooth bar. So if I hold this button here at the top down, you can see it flashes. So now on the iPad, we want to press the Bluetooth settings and stop flashing. So once that stops flashing, the iPad is all connected to the Xbox controller. So back onto the Xbox Remote Play app now. And there we go, we've got the Xbox there, and if I just do this, you can see we're controlling it completely. Alright guys, now that we've got the 
iPad Pro set up with the Xbox app. All we need to do now is simply take our USB from the PC that I've put the Def Jam Vendetta game on. I'm gonna load it onto the Xbox Series X. Once that's done, we're gonna go straight back to the iPad and we're gonna start playing the Retro Arch game, PS2 emulation. That's all I've done. I've literally plugged it in and it's gonna be good to go now. So let's go back to the iPad and let's see what's happened. Okay guys, so you can see we've got the remote play working here. So we're gonna load up the XBS X2 app. So I'll press this one here. You can see it's loaded on the iPad. Give it a few moments. Okay. Now we're just going to go onto game list and you can see there Def Jam Vendellas there. All working fine. So I'm just gonna hit the X button and we're gonna load it up. And you can see in the corner, it's playing completely fine in the iPad Pro on 4K upscaled as usual. Here we go, just for clarity. And let's just turn the volume up. Soldiers are the Legion, Method Man, Nori, Cabone, Luther, Red Man, DMX. You want a shot at me, you gotta make it past these brothers. So guys, there you have it. That is the end of the video. So as you can see, you can play Retro Arch PS2 emulated games using your Xbox Series X with Remote Play on your iPad Pro. Now, don't forget, you can also play Remote Play not just on an iPad, but you can use it on your mobile phone. So whether that's an Android or an iPhone, all you need is the Xbox Series X controller, put the Bluetooth on, and you can play all your emulated PS2 games on a various range of devices, not just your TV. So if you wanna play your PS2 emulated games, but your missus or whoever it is is occupying your TV, not a problem, just whack out the iPad, your phone, whatever it is, and you can play your emulated games on there. Now you're probably wondering, hang on a minute, you can also get an emulator for an iPad or a phone, but you're gonna have trouble getting your games to play on your iPad and your phone, especially as they don't have USB like the Xbox Series X does. So that's pretty much why we're doing it. And that's just, we're just testing it out and seeing how far we can go with the Xbox Series X. Well, anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please don't forget to like, don't forget to subscribe. I'll be back with some awesome gaming content. Thank you for watching. Take care.